Happy fall! I'm Heather David with Shoreline Natural Wellness and this month's exercise month is actually three different exercises. In the newsletter this month I talked about trying to make your lifestyle work and still get your exercise and good eating in during these busy times of November, December, you know with Halloween, to Thanksgiving, to Christmas, to New Year's. There's all these wonderful family-oriented holidays throughout that involve lots of eating and very little activity, lots of sitting and talking. So how can you fit exercise into your everyday life while you're cleaning your house for the guests to come over and preparing large meals? Well, check the newsletter out to find out some really great nutrition ideas to help you through the holidays. And then use these exercises and you can make up your own and post them on my Facebook page uh, facebook.com backslash shoreline natural wellness. I would love to see your really great fun ideas. So what you need for the three exercises we're going to do today is just some paper plates and you don't want styrofoam plates. You've got to use paper. If you don't have gliding discs, if you have gliding discs, great, use them. They're a lot of fun. The other thing you'll need is either just a light, there's no weight to this ball, a light ball like a kid's toy or if you want some weight you're going to grab a medicine ball and then finally for the third exercise we'll do today we're going to do some really silly reactive game and you can use cones now if you don't have cones a plastic cup works the same um so stuffed animals be creative have fun all these things you can do with your children and so you'll be active with your kids as well as getting your cardiovascular exercise in. Um, one of the exercises is both strength and cardio. The rest of them are cardio. So we're going to jump right into the exercises uh, and, and you can pick and choose what works for you and just have fun. You're going to want your kids to play these games with you. All right, so our first game is with your paper plates or if you have them, gliding discs. Remember, no styrofoam. Styrofoam will crumble and give you lots of trouble. So you want to use just regular old paper plates. And the great thing about them is they're really, really cheap. So when they do wear out, you don't feel so bad throwing them away. But recycle, either recycle them or burn them. Don't just throw them in your garbage. Be responsible. All right, so the game. Very, very simple game. You're going to play a relay race with your children. A great idea is have them make their bed, and then when they complete the task, they get to relay race with you. Or um, the next, whoever wins this relay race, best two out of three, gets out of the next chore. Maybe it's putting stuffies on the bed now that the bed's made. You know, mom gets to win once in a while, kids get to win once in a while, and it's a lot of fun and encourages them to keep getting their chores done. And it gives you your cardiovascular exercise without feeling guilty that you took tons of time away to go do a class or go for a run. In this busy time of year, it's a great opportunity. The ACSM recommends that you get three, three to five 30 minute cardios in a week. So do you have to do all the 30 minutes at once? You don't, you can do it in three 10 minute bursts. So have these fun relay races and try some of the other stuff we're gonna to do today. So here's how it works. You get to the end of your hallway or the end of your large room, you place the discs on the floor or the paper plates and side by side you race to the end of the room and back again, first one back wins that round, two more rounds, best two out of three. Now, if you don't have room with wise, just use a stopwatch or a second hand on the wall to time who's the fastest. Or don't time it at all, just laugh and have fun. So hands go on the discs, feet behind you, and you push. tricky and add a certain number of laps or you got to weave in and out of things. Have fun with it. Cardiovascular exercise can be fun and it can be family friendly. Our second exercise of the day is the popcorn game. Now remember I showed you you had two different balls. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. You can use just a kid's ball that has no weight to it at all or if you have a medicine ball you can use a weighted ball. However, you're playing this with your kids so pick a ball accordingly. You certainly don't want an eight pound ball with a 20 pound kid. Not a good thing. The kids will have a blast with this one. They can either participate in it with you or they can just be your assistant. 
what you will do with your child is you'll have them stand at ready. They're ready to throw the ball. All right? You're standing across from them like so. When they throw the ball to you, you catch it, you drop to the ground, jump back, jump back in, pick up the ball and throw it to them. So the faster they get it back to you, the harder you're going to work. Now if that is just not an option, maybe your knees don't allow it, maybe your heart's not strong enough to handle that kind of cardiovascular exercise, maybe you just don't get down and up that quick. Whatever the reason, that's not a reason to give up on this exercise, you can go at a different level. You can go down, push your feet back, one, two, and in two, and stand back up. Or you can even put a chair in front of yourself, catch the ball, set the ball on the chair, grab the chair, jump your feet back, jump back in, and throw the ball back to your child. If they want to participate, then when you throw it back to them, they got to do the same thing you just did. So they're getting their cardiovascular exercise too, and everybody's laughing and having a good time. This is a high intensity exercise. The more you drop and lift, the faster you go. So listen to what your body's saying. If you can no longer talk to your child or it's no longer silly and fun, you're not laughing anymore, it's probably a little too high of intensity. You need to tone it down a little bit, march in place, let that heart rate come down. All right, so your last game to do with your kids is called a reaction game. And what I've done here is I've set it up four corners and one center cone. Depending on the size of the space you're in will depend on how big you can make it. And if it's a nice day, go outside. Now remember I said in the intro, you don't have to have cones. You can use plastic cups or you could use a stuffed animal. It doesn't matter as long as it doesn't roll out of the way. You don't want to use balls. And you want something soft, so if somewhere to fall, it would get cut, like no glass. All right? So you stand in the middle and your child is out at one of the corners. In this one, you can have multiple children. And what they're going to do is stand at their corner, and you're standing in the middle doing what's called quickie. And when they run to another corner, you have to run to that corner too. And then you have to go to quick feet, and then they run to another corner, and you've got to go catch them. So you have to stay inside your square. They stay outside the square. And everybody's getting a great cardiovascular workout. The kids are having fun teasing mom and dad. The great fun about this game is they can trick you and start to go one way and then go another. So encourage them to have fun. So those are your three exercises of the month that you get to play and have fun. Remember, three 30-minute bursts of cardio um, up to five. You can do more, I suppose, if you like, but you need three to five 30-minute cardio bursts. And remember, they can be in 10-minute increments. So have fun. Play these games. Find some other games. Remember to post them on my Facebook if you come up with some fun games. I'd love to see them. And then finally, always, always cool down. Your heart rate's going to be elevated quite a bit. So march in place. Roll around on the floor and tickle your kids. Whatever it takes, but bring that heart rate down. You don't want to go right to sitting down and uh, letting your blood pool in your feet. Not a good thing. So have fun with these exercises. Check out our website, www.shorelinenaturalwellness.com, and our Facebook, facebook.com backslash Shoreline Natural Wellness, for more information on how to hire a trainer to learn more of these fun things you can do with your family. Have a great Thanksgiving holiday.